Hey Catherine, it's Tuesday. So today I wanted to do like a little perfume review and sort of collection because I recently acquired a few new perfumes and I'm a bit of a perfume junkie at the moment. I actually have 10, which is a bit ridiculous. I don't know, I just really like to smell nice and I like to sort of smell different as well. So my favorite all time perfume is actually DKNY and it's the Be Delicious, the green one. I actually got this as a present when I left school and it just kind of reminds me of that and kind of like a bittersweet sort of happy and sad sort of memory. Um, yeah, I really like that. I like fruity perfumes and of course it smells like apples. This month I also got DKNY um, Be Delicious, the red one, which I like it almost as much as the green one actually. It does smell... I, I'm not very good at describing perfumes and I haven't got sort of the descriptions of the... Um, top notes and all that kind of stuff so um i don't really know how to describe it but it's different i would say it's quite sharp and very very fruity both the dk and my be delicious ones are very fruity perfumes i also have ghost the original one um yeah i bought that as a present for one of my friends a few years ago and then i decided to buy it for myself because i liked it so much I have Boss Orange, like the Hugo Boss Orange. I've got, used quite a lot of this actually, like it's down to here. And I got it, I think, last Christmas as a present. And I got it in a gift set with um, a body lotion. But yeah, this is like a fruity perfume as well. And I think it smells like orange because, yeah, it's called orange. Another cheaper perfume I have is the Accessorize perfume. And I used to work at Accessorize, so it kind of reminds me of being there. I really like the bottles, but another thing I like about perfumes is the bottles, sort of like collecting them. It's really pretty, really sort of light one. It's a very light perfume. I'd say it was a floral perfume, but it's very sweet and very light. So yes, kind of a summery fragrance, I think. I also have the Glee perfume. Um, I think there are several out and this one is Don't Stop Believing. So I got this as a present. But it's got Glee written on the front, I think, yeah. In like a little black bottle. It's a very, like a young person's fragrance, I think. Very, very sweet and sort of rich. Another sort of young perfume I have is this one, which is Curious, Brit the Britney Spears perfume. And I don't really like buying sort of celebrity perfumes or celebrity kind of anything because I don't know I don't really see the point of them but I really like this this is a really really sweet perfume but I don't know it just smells it just smells so nice and it's like a sort of spring summery perfume the bottle is really pretty as well um it's like this sort of blue shape and it's got like a little heart decoration thing on it and it reminds me of my teenage years when everyone was wearing it. Now this one I got as a present last Christmas and it is Agent Provocateur. Um, it's a limited edition and it's actually got like gold flakes in it which is really cool because it comes out sort of gold and it's quite like a party sort of perfume, sort of nice wear in the evening I think and like the box is so cool it sort of comes in a, this box and then you open it like a jewellery box the perfume bottle's gold and um, it's got like a little lock thing on it so um, it's a very strong perfume very sort of vanilla-y spicy perfume it's sort of quite suitable for someone my age sort of in their 20s or maybe in their 30s um, not too young but yeah, really nice and classy, I think. So moving on to a perfume which I recently purchased and it's actually another celebrity perfume and it's Katy Perry Pear. Um, she's actually got two, I think, and the other one's called Meow, but I've got Pear and it's like, I think I bought this mainly for the bottle as well. Um, it's definitely one that I'm going to keep sort of forever. Um, look at this, it's like a purple cat. Um, it's got a little key ring thing on it, um, which also says pear. And it's so cool, like on the back of it, it's got a tail. And yeah, I wasn't sort of sure what this was gonna smell like, um, but it's like fruity and floral. I think mostly fruity, but it's got a really strong like 
vanilla scent and I can smell black currant in it. Um, I don't know if there is, but that's what I can smell. And it reminded me of a perfume I had once that I didn't like and so I thought, oh no. But I definitely do like this one. It's, again, it's quite sweet. Um, but it smells really nice on me, so that's really cool. The last perfume that I recently bought, um, which is possibly like the most expensive perfume out of this collection, I'm not sure. But it is Daisy by Marc Jacobs. And again, I love this bottle. I've seen this for ages now and I've always wanted it. At first, I didn't know if I liked the smell, but I love it. It's really nice. And of course, like daisies don't smell of anything, so I wasn't really sure what it was going to smell like, but it just smells so fresh. Yeah, I'm going to keep this bottle as well because I just love the design of it. It's awesome. Um, Yeah, so that is my perfume collection. I do have quite a lot of perfume. I don't know really why I have so much. Goodbye. This girl is serious about the number three. Did anyone actually get that reference? Yeah, probably not. All I've ever wanted is a green hoodie. <laughs>